Good morning, lords and ladies. You guys are going to be seeing a whole lot of Iron Throne content today. I'm re-recording some of this stuff in order to maybe soften my tone from other videos and to really try and get the message correctly. Um, so I'll try and keep as much ranting out of this video as possible and just give you purely what, what you came here for. And that is uh, best defense advice for Iron Throne. And that's going to break down into... Um, like, let's say, current version of the game, uh, bugs, features, flaws, whatever it may be, but current, current whatever of the game, and some general advice. So this is, I'm not kidding, the best thing, the first thing, is build 40 million T1 spam. Seriously. It may sound ridiculous, you, you, you're saying that must be a joke. Nope, it's not. 40 million T1 spam balanced, that means like say T1, you know, 10 million, um, you know, uh, infantry, 10 million bow, 10 million cav, and 10 million siege is probably the best defense you could possibly buy, invest in, and everything. And it's available very early in the game. I'm not kidding. It's true. That's what it is. So, besides the T1 spam, there's a couple other things that you can do for the game, you can do to build your defense in the game. And that's going to be, um, you need to appoint a guard captain. And your guard captain, um, let's see, let's see who my guard captain is. What? Was it not appointed? Uh, I don't know why it's not appointed, but I'm just going to go ahead and appoint it now. Maybe because my hero was captured a few minutes ago and something like that. So yeah, he was... That's probably part of the reason why I'm making these grumpy videos today is because my hero was captured. Yeah, here we go. So, there you go. Um, but, was that correct? I just want to double check, make sure that that's actually correct. So your guardian armor is basically your go-to set for defensive equipment. Other equipment, I haven't tested it. I'm not planning to test it. Um, I don't think it'd probably be the, the way to go. But Guardian Armor is almost certainly the best thing that you can do for defense. Some of the other, other stats, I'm not sure that they would even apply for defending. I don't know. They designed this armor specifically for defense. That's what you go for. When you're building troops for defense, I do recommend balanced. Because if you don't do balanced, then somebody is going to be able to specialize and attack you. There's probably going to be somebody, you know, like if you're building heavy infantry, there's somebody that's going to come in with bow and they're going to be able to specialize, basically get you. But if you're balanced, it's, you know, it's going to be much harder for them to create a specialized attack against you. So defensive strategy. Now, how do you get that equipment? Well, you spend a lot of money. Um, a lot of money, well, I let you define whatever is a lot of money, but it's going to be somewhere between $600 and $12,000 depending on how extreme you want to go. Now, you can avoid this um, by killing hundreds and hundreds and thousands of thousands of monsters. So, monsters that drop the chest for crafting that are going to have the prefix of, like, Guardian. So you see this is, like, Guardian Frost Giant, and when you click on the reward, it gives a grade one to four protector equipment material. So, if you don't want to spend money and you want to do free pay, and you don't mind bubbling for months and months and months, having no defense, well, then by all means, kill monsters, slowly do it, and enjoy. It's not so bad. You only need to kill about 300 to 500 monsters to craft one piece, and it takes six pieces for a full set, or five pieces for a set that will give a set bonus. Anyway, you get the idea. A lot of monsters. Um, let's see. Defensive advice, anything else? No, I mean, the best defense is going to be shields. Uh, you're probably not going to come into a circumstance where you're even going to, you know, need to shield, or you're, you're even going to need to defend yourself unless you forgot your shield. So all of my advice is kind of moot, unless you want to live outside of a bubble, in which case, build 40 million T1 spam, and there you go, you can live outside of your bubble. Sort of, maybe. I don't know, maybe they're going to fix that at some point. Who knows? But anyway, in terms of Best defensive advice for Iron Throne, current early access version. I don't even know what version this is. 
but it currently acts as a version. Let's call this May 10th, 2018. That's the best advice I have for you. So there you go. Yeah, it's basically bubble or do some of the things I recommended. Mostly bubble. Bubble's a sure way to go. So, okay. Love you guys. Bye-bye for now.